so now that Dragon's Breath is upon us, I thought I would take a look at the three Pan-Asian commanders that are available. Ding Rusheng, I believe, came with the Loyang, and he's an all-purpose commander. You can see the symbol right there is not a battleship or cruiser or destroyer or aircraft carrier. That is your general purpose commander icon. His base trait is Gunslinger, reduces the reload time of your main battery, so this guy will pretty much do everything. So I'm setting him up for the Pan-Asian destroyers here, and uh, so I've selected Eric Bay as his inspiration. I only have him ranked up to rank 7 because I plan on investing in the Pan-Asian Torpedo Destroyer Commander whichever one that turns out to be. So I I just want to get uh, Ding Rusheng uh, enough of a rank so that he can have at least one inspiration for Bay for Shifty to um, increase the concealment. So as far as the skills I've selected contact as eminent, look at me now, back in stock, and smoke on the water. Those are all standard destroyer skills for this general purpose commander. You can see here you have burn it down XXL, no fly zone, before it's too late, crisscross, all of these other skills pretty much are suited for cruisers and battleships, though you can use them if you want to turn this guy into a bun gunboat commander. As far as the legendary ranks, I don't have any legendary. I haven't dedicated a commendation to him yet. Probably won't, uh, but I would select Unstoppable for a uh, destroyer setup. Reduces the engine repair time and gains reduced mobility with a disabled engine and or rudder. So this is definitely a must for uh, for most destroyer setups. Will to rebuild is perfect for battleship setup and fully packed will give you extra consumable and I use this on cruisers a lot of times. So okay so that's Ding Ru Shang. He's the general purpose guy so let's take a look at the other new commanders. So Deng Shi Shang his base trait is Quantum of Solace, and already I could tell from the subsurface venture that this is your torpedo guy. If you So if you want to set up a torpedo boat, you want to select this commander and set up these skills. So the Quantum of Solace base trait is to increase the damage of your torpedoes and improve your destroyer's concealment. So that is awesome. That is a double whammy there, and I will definitely select this guy when I'm setting up the Pan-Asian destroyers and I have enough commander XP to uh, buy a commander. This will be the guy that I'm looking to get. So your choices for the first skill is contact is eminent, subsurface venture or no fly zone. It's pretty standard. I always select subsurface venture because it increases the torpedo speed and reduces the launcher's reload time. The reload time of the destroyer's main guns, though, are increased a little bit, but I don't care because I'm looking for a torpedo commander, not a gunboat commander. Okay, so for the second skill, you have either Look At Me Now or Fragile Threat. I always pick Look At Me Now because I don't want to take a hit on the maximum HP. Fragile Threat, once you start ranking uh, any commander that has a skill, up a little bit, you will get a higher detectability of destroyers uh, re reduction here, uh, though it's at the cost of maximum HP, as I said. And here, you're not going to get as much of a uh, reduction of detectability, but you you won't take a hit on the HP of the ship. So that's why I always select uh, the skill. For the third skill, I always select back in stock because I want as many torpedoes on target as quick as possible. Torpedo Safari, if you want longer range on your torpedoes, this is what you would select. On alert, enables a warning indicator of incoming long range enemy fire while also improving ship steering. So, 
rudder shift time is going to be decreased here probably 6% by the time you rank this guy up. And then we have Perceptive here. It's a skill that is now available for all commanders. It increases the visibility of enemy torpedoes and reduces the incoming damage to your destroyer and it will show the direction of the closest enemy ship. But I, I rarely select this. I, I have this selected for a few instances, but when I'm going for a torpedo setup, I'll generally select back in stock. And then here we have either smoke on the water for the forest skill, destroy or be destroyed, increase the maximum speed of your destroyer at the cost of reduced shell grouping of the main battery. And I don't think I would ever pick that, but uh, let's check out Knuckle Duster here. This is kind of new. It reduces the maximum damage of your torpedoes while improving their concealment and increase the chances of incapacitating modules of the ships that they hit. So, okay, detection of your torpedoes is minus 25 meters. Chance of your torpedo incapacitating an enemy ship goes up a little bit and the torpedo damage goes down 10%. All right. I would probably still um, select smoke on the water because I find the smoke screens pretty useful. And here for the legendary skill, you have either unstoppable or give me speed. I always select unstoppable. All right. So the last guy is Zah uh, Jinbing. His base trait is tin can opener. Increases the minimum ricochet angle of your destroyer's AP shells. Okay, uh, gunboat commander setup again. Contact is imminent. Increases the travel speed of your torpedoes. Okay, observant range reduces the main battery reload time of your destroyer while improving the torpedo detection at the cost of a lower rudder shift speed. So this is, I guess, more for a gunboat commander. No fly zone, pretty standard. Mortar, enhance your destroyer shells at the cost of increased ship detectability. So this is definitely a gunboat commander skill. If you want to go that direction, you have look at me now. So you can still do kind of a, a similar torpedo setup if you want. You know, it's got back in stock. Look at me now. Contact is eminent. That this is not as great as subsurface venture, but it's okay. So, yeah, I think this guy is the guy that you want to select if you're setting up for a gunboat. You have Twist and Track for the third skill, Reaching Out XXL, and then you have Perceptive again. For the fourth skill, you have Smoke on the Water, Cloudy Days, reduces the engine boost consumable reload time at the cost of this diminished smoke generator capabilities. All right, I, I don't think I'd ever select that, but uh, Knuckle Duster is the other unique skill here, as we talked about before. Reduces the engine damage of your torpedoes, improves their concealment, and increases the chances of incapacitating modules. So uh, here you have Unstoppable, which I think you want for any destroyer setup. Though Leviathan increases the maximum HP of your ship, and it's at the cost of a lower maximum speed. So. Right, well, I think that Zajin Bing is definitely your gunboat commander if you want to go that direction. While Den Xingxing is your torpedo guy if you want to go in that direction. This is your general purpose uh, commander right here. So I uh, hope you found the video useful. Hope to see you out there. This is the Jaguar. I'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you like it.